which of the following is the most likely causative organism of the patient's condition? A 45-year-old man presents the emergency department with severe pain in his left leg, which started two days ago. He has a history of poorly controlled diabetes mellitus. The patient's temperature is 101.3. Um, blood pressure is 90 over 60, pulse is 110, and real, reveals a rapidly spreading uh, erythematous, swollen, and tender area of the left leg. There's also the presence of crepitus and some blisters filled with dark fluid on the skin. So um, I think the main characteristics would be like the, the crepitus and the blisters with the dark fluid on the skin. That's kind of telling me that maybe there's some necrosis um, going on. So I would rule out Clostridium difficile because that's wouldn't cause um, this uh, E. coli as well, because it probably doesn't cause like a leg infection. And then narrow it down to these three choices at least. Um, before we talked about Staph aureus, like causing cellulitis, but I wouldn't necessarily associate that with necrotizing fasciitis, right? So, or anything like that. Uh, strep pyogenes or pseudomonas. Um, let's see, he has poorly controlled diabetes mellitus as well. Strep pyogenes, can it cause necrotizing fasciitis? Yeah. What does your gut say? You're on the right track, I believe. Yeah, I would probably choose strep. But okay, final answer. You sticking with that? Yes, sorry. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, yeah, perfect, yeah. So definitely for sure, right, you're worried about necrotizing fasciitis. Group A, strep, can cause uh, necrotizing fasciitis, but let's talk about the rest of the answer choices, right? E. coli, right, that's going to give you GI issues, right? So not going to give you um, necrotizing uh, clostridium difficile, right? Also, right, going to give you diarrhea, GI issues, right? So not the symptoms we're dealing with. Pseudomonas right? You get pneumonia, UTI, skin infections, right? Immunocompromised and particularly cystic fibrosis. It can cause skin infection, right? But it's not usually a causative organism, right? So it can, right? We got it down to the first two. And then strap aureus, right? Um, it can cause skin infections, right? But not for neck fascia. It's usually cellulitis and things like that. So best answer here is going to be strep pyogenes, but good. Um, questions, concerns about that. You worked through that really well, and I would have gotten it down between these two also. Yeah. Okay.